You faking everything. Where's the house that she was building? Explain to me why you have a chairlift in your house. Is it to help with the old white men going up to your bedroom? Why else would somebody have a chairlift in their house, in the townhouse? Now why you put, is, is anybody else that cannot walk this in your house where you gotta put in a <laughs> damn chairlift? <laughs> Pardon the interruption, but I mean, Kenya, you jumped in so fast that you didn't even let me tell the people why we're here today and the purpose of today's service. Now, today's service is going to be to lay to rest this notion of this piss poor representation of black women. Now, Kenya, I'm gonna let you finish, but. I didn't date Kanye West. I went out on a date with Kanye. How was the date? He was crazy as hell. I know, Kenya, we're going to get back to that. But listen, let's stay on task. What we're talking about right now is what you said about Marlo and what Marlo represents. And I want to be clear about the type of woman I am and the type of platform that I have. You see, being pro-black or being pro-black woman does not mean excusing each and everything that black people or black women do, even if it's terrible. You should be able to call out some of the things that you think are the wrong behavior or bad representation and hopefully you'll be able to do it with a little bit of love and a little bit of grace and wrap it up with talking about what did we learn here. The thing about Marlo is, and why I never wanted her to be a peach holder, was because whereas I can understand her tragic upbringing, it still doesn't excuse her behavior and the way she treats people now. And the thing that she represents is this, you know, defining yourself by designer labels, which encourages, you know, irresponsible spending. Then you have the whole secure the bag at all costs, even if you have to do something strange for some change, even if you have to go over to Dubai and let them use you as a human toilet. See, this is the type of stuff that her type of representation promotes to our younger girls, this Instagram influencer culture, who also, as you can see, has an extravagant lifestyle and unverified income. And it's just weird to me. It's this do anything for cloud and secure the bag at all costs that I think that we need to stop doing. But once again, some of this stuff is within our control. Whereas the black community and black women are not a monolith, our representation is all but monolithic nowadays. And yes, I've said this before, but the truth bears repeating, right? Look at how long we repeated lies. Allegation. Phaedra Parks went on Arsenio Hall with Cynthia and Portia, you sat there and told the entire world that I saw Apollo in LA at a party. I proceeded to follow him without him knowing to his hotel and proposition him. Oh, don't worry, sis, we gonna get to that because I'm gonna be talking about her and in my next video that's about to drop, that's gonna be centered around Sheree and some of the things that she does. But let me ask you this, will you even be watching it? Here's why I say that. I want you to consider the fact that I am at Pretty Brown Rise on all platforms to follow on social media or to hit the subscribe button on YouTube. Not only is it free, it takes a second. But we won't do that, now will we? In order to give somebody an alternative perspective of black womanhood and the way we think and the way we carry ourselves. However, comma, the only thing that the news amplifies is the girls who exemplify all of the negative stereotypes. And by us not promoting and pushing different narratives to the front, it's almost as if we're condoning it. And I'm going to end this by saying this. Those clowns that just got demonetized and is now crying fake tears about it. Here's what I want you to know about that platform. That platform and those people made a royal mint off of making black women the butt of the joke and attacking us unprovoked. And when you do stuff like that, when you say negative things about black women, well, hey, you can get hundreds of thousands, if not millions of followers and the dollars that goes along with it. But what do we do to amplify a different voice and a different narrative, even when it's free? Message.